Shattered by Thomas Cannon. The same mind that tells me gas station fruit pies are still fruit tells me to jog. Where I don't want someone to laugh at the sight of me and make me their joke. There are sad things in the world, and I am one of them. Even beautiful things, such as that red-faced girl who's now swinging around a light pole, are endangered of being swallowed up. Solitary is a game played by ugly people at the kitchen table. In my day, when it snowed, they took a kindergartner outside the door and they didn't cough school until the snow was up to his neck. I rebounded fast, though. Two short years later and I was dating again. He said, we have been through a lot. You need some space and time alone. She said, no, it's you. Batman is the worst. He doesn't even have superpowers. He just hates being Bruce Wayne. I need to tell him that only happy people are the ones that can tell jokes. All my friends encouraged me to do open mics at Pepito's in Minneapolis. I was terrible, but all eyes were on me. They formed my yearning for attention into something identifiable, like the vending machines in the Milwaukee Zoo that produce those animals from hot plastic shot into molds. And now stand-up is all I have. Some mistakes are mistakes, but some mistakes are fate. Some feel blessed by God. Some are sure they are cursed. People concentrate on what they have and what they do. But whether they are blessed or are cursed, it's all indistinguishable from this overlook. This is my car. All my high school experiences were in it. Well, not really experiences. They were more like incidents with misfits. When I got this car, it did not make me popular. But it was mine and it meant escape. Tammy is looking at me. So how's high school going for you? All roads lead to the same dead end. You should have experienced uh, staying up in the 80s. Comedy clubs popped up like zits on a teenager. It was the golden age for stand-up in the cities.